damn it. <laughs> yeah, hi. We got, we got into the car. Yeah. And you said to me, like, what was the name of that movie again? Yeah. And I go, oh, the least of these. Yeah, you just, <laughs> what? <laughs> you know it's a good one, but I don't even know what the name of this movie was. Even at the end of the movie. It made, it made me think, like, oh, I never actually told you what the name of this no, was. No. You want to go see the new religious movie that's out? Uh, yeah. So, oh my God. Okay, well, huh. business first. Yes. Um, <laughs> welcome to Midnight Screenings. I'm Brad Jones. This is Ryan Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> we just the, the, <laughs> Please subscribe to our channel. Yes, we do more than just giggle in a car. Yeah. We'll get to some real analysis here oh, in a second. You, but, trust but, me, we will. The, <laughs> oh, my God. Um... <laughs> Subscribe to our channel at <laughs> youtube.com slash Stone Gremlin Productions to see more movie <laughs> reviews. You can check out our latest snob video on 1941 and follow us on Twitter at the Cinema Snob. Fives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow. in the in the several years that I've been doing this, I've seen so many religious movies at this point to where a lot of them more often than I mean every now and one there's one that comes out that's fairly decent mm -hmm. and then of course I mean there's some that are bad but even right. a lot of times the bad ones I've seen so many of them that are bad for the same reasons that you just kind of get numb to it over time <laughs> but then once in a while <laughs> you get one that's so bad <laughs> that it makes <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> it really makes it a unique experience. That right? was a unique experience. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. You're a professional film editor. What did you think <laughs> of this? <laughs> wow. Okay, so so where do we begin? Okay. Okay. A, a film, it's, it's about a Christian missionary in, in India. Yeah. And he, you know, in forcible conversions are illegal in India, or uh -huh. that part of India, or whatever. And and he's he's doing conversions, but like we, the, the the story is about a journalist trying to def decide if he's doing it illegally. Yeah, and the journalist goes uh, infiltrates into this leper colony that the missionary works at uh -huh. to uh, convert himself so that they, they can br basically bring this guy down in the article. But what you should really know about this film is that the missionary is played by Stephen Baldwin yeah. as an Australian <laughs> man who is, is Graham Staines, whose name is in the title, in the right. subtitle of the movie, but is a very minor character he in this film. He is a very minor character. It is really about the journalist. And, and, and I don't even, I mean... Other than the fact that he, he he has a new baby, like his wife just gave birth to a baby, and his wife's ill from the, from uh -huh. the birth. What, what, he he just needs money for that. Uh -huh. But he has he's just he's just a journalist. Yeah, he's who, he's because <clears throat> the, the, okay the, the story. It's not that the movie has a bad story. Like yeah, it, I, it's, mean, I mean yeah like, like, like yeah you're right. It's, when, yeah. when you break it down, it, it, it's not one of those movies that's necessarily insane due to its plot. Because yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh, I mean, granted, this movie is so amateur, it makes nothing yeah, out of yeah. the plot line it has. No, but it's it. I, okay, this is I, I I don't know. It would be like if you took the worst director at Pure Flix and told them to make Silence. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean really, the, the the story concisely is this. Uh huh. The, the journalist was hired to discover if he was illegally converting people, <laughs> yeah. but actually found out that he, the conversions he got was because people were so happy yeah. with the good things he was doing. Mm -hmm. He was a wonderful <laughs> person who did good things for this leper community, yeah. and when people converted to Christianity, they did it on their own free will. He didn't force them. Mm-hmm. There's the whole. That's it. That's it. That's, that's, that's the, the whole movie. Story. That's the whole thing. But this is a movie we saw on the big screen, and it's shot. It it it's shot like a cheaper version of Bruno Mattei's Hell of the Living Dead. It's it's <laughs> super amateur. It's super super amateur. And and you know I was thinking about this, in, in that like you know the, like mo the, like it's an Indian director. It's a mostly Indian crew. Mm. Uh, though though it was very clearly made for an American an American audience. Uh -huh. And I was thinking at first I was like well. 
Is it just that like they don't do a lot of film? But I was like, what the hell? Bollywood's been a huge thing for <laughs> decades. Uh -huh. There are great filmmakers in India. Mm -hmm. There really, really are. They they can do phenomenal things with big casts and yeah. great actors, movie stars that you know put our movie stars to shame. Uh -huh. You know, so it's like no, 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 no. That, that's not an excuse. It's not that they can't make movies in India. But then I thought about it. The Christian exploitation crap that is happening uh -huh. here. I don't think it's really happened there yet. So maybe, I don't know. May, I don't know. I mean, this is, this is mm. something we could research and look into, but this uh -huh. is like, they're just getting into it, realizing, <laughs> hey, we have a huge film industry here. <laughs> Why don't we start making Christian exploitation movies in <laughs> India? Yeah, the only other thing that this director had done is that he was a crew member on that 90s Kama Sutra film. <laughs> <laughs> um, but other than that, I, I don't know much about the production company that made this film. <clears throat> but this is a movie that... <clears throat> It, it, it's one of those that's fascinating to watch in how it's made. Yeah. Because this movie opens with a, a title card that says no animals were harmed in this film. <laughs> that's the first thing we see in this. Right, and I'm like, that is the very what, first title card. What in the hell kind of ca cannibal holocaust thing are we right, about to get right. into right here? Well, and then and then it talks about uh, then, then like, like, like four or five title cards yeah. before it actually gets into the movie. And it's uh -huh. like says, this movie could not have been made with the help of you know, listing name people here. And then uh -huh. this was uh, based on this and this, this. this. Okay, this is so, uh, I said, you know, I was like, this is the credits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the credits. It's not supposed to be this year. <laughs> When you're already telling me we didn't actually hurt animals, and that's the first thing I see in the movie, I'm like, I, I don't know if I want to be your friend. <laughs> like, why are you really warning me? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't think I was going into an animal snuff film. Like, and plus, I don't even know why that was even there because, like, there weren't any animals in the movie. <laughs> there's a part where they cross the street and there's some cows on the road, right. and there's a part where it's showing like snake skin, snake skin. in the water. But it, but it looked or something. like it was just skin that was shed by the snake like yeah there, there was no dead snake there was just a, <clears throat> so <laughs> so uh this movie is a colossal editing nightmare yes so uh when the opening credits which are typed out in this font that was not meant to be blown up on a giant screen yep. because it's what's the word i i, <laughs> I think I, I forget exactly what it is but uh -huh. it's like uh Oh God! What is it? Oh, I, the word just gave me. It was, it's like an artifacting. Yeah. It's where when you've got the pixels on a, on a diagonal mm -hmm. line, and when you blow them up, but it's you know you're not actually getting thousands of pixels. You're getting those same pixels. You're making them bigger. <laughs> it gets kind of a stair step effect on letters, yeah. as you see, like 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 you know certain characters. Like an I would look okay, but an A, an a capital oh, A, yeah, yeah. it's going to be like this, and you're going to see the stair step effect as it goes up on this. Uh, 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 Anti-assailing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Internet. This is why we do that's, them live. That's why we do this Anti-assailing. Yes, exactly. It's exactly what it is. It's, you see it on the letters on the big screen because they didn't... What the, the, the font wasn't made to be projected on the big screen. <laughs> Neither was the stock footage that they use in this film. No. Or the ending <laughs> photographs that look wildly pixelated out of a... This is a movie that, like, whenever it pans, it's choppy. Yeah, yeah. It, Halfway through this movie, the dialogue goes out of scene. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and during the the opening credits are on the screen at the same time as like a name and date location right. and subtitles. And they're so, talking and there's action going on. So there's like yeah. six things coming at you at once. Oh man! And the whole thing is subtitled and it's in English. Right. right. It's so part of me, which again is why I was saying this was made by an Indian crew. Uh huh. For American audiences. Yeah. Or for American Christian audiences, because let's be honest, no one else is going to see this. <laughs> oh, there was, for 20 minutes of this movie, we were the only ones there, right, yeah. and I was like, thank God, because we can talk during this, and we were talking out loud during the opening <laughs> credits, like, I don't know what to focus on, like, know, yeah, there's yeah. The, the badly done opening credits, there's subtitles, there's this going on, uh -huh. this is really choppy, yeah. this sounds like it's dubbed, but I'm not sure, and then it goes completely <laughs> out of sync, Right. Yeah. and then 20 minutes in, some older couple walked in, I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, yeah, you! Great, you great, uh, not only do they choose a terrible film to come see, but they show up late. <laughs> yeah, they showed up like 20 minutes into this movie. Come on, people. <laughs> oh, I was so mad. I was more mad at that than I was at this movie. Oh. So, uh, <clears throat> but, but it, the whole movie, and I was thinking like, okay, well, I don't know. Maybe they subtitled it because they 
thought the audience of this movie might have a hard time understanding the accents. I never did. No, I, uh, I never really did either. No, I, no. But then it also, but it does it for everything. Everybody. Everybody gets subtitled. Yeah. Even, yeah. even Stephen Baldwin in his really bad Australian accent. <laughs> yeah, Stephen Baldwin. <laughs> who's, so about the fifth time, oh. Stephen Baldwin goes like, yeah, that's true right there, mate. I was like, oh, no. Oh, I no. Over here. oh, oh, no. Oh, He's oh, supposed no. to be Australian. He's I Australian. Did, oh, no. It's like up there with like Tarantino and Django Unchained for oh. bad Australian accents. Oh, like yeah. at least it, you could probably argue that the Tarantino one was supposed to be over the top. In this, no, it's typical wooden Stephen Baldwin yeah. attempting an Australian <laughs> accent, like oh. which is just simply adding "mate" right. to the end of every other sentence that he yeah. has in this movie. Yeah. It, 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 yeah, it's it's just it's just really like poorly put together. And I mean, as an editor, you know, I'm watching it, and there's scenes that go on way too long, and yeah. like you know, there's scenes where like you know, you know, the main character walks out of the room, and then you just hang on a guy, and then he like takes a sip of some drink, uh, and then he just sets it down. It's like, uh -huh. and then it cuts. I was like, why did we see that? Yeah. Why was that important? <laughs> why did you just take 20 seconds out of this movie to show me the guy take a drink and set it down? It has nothing to do with anything. And I, I cut, I, go. I don't think they use the best takes in this either. I think they just picked <laughs> random. Yeah. There's a horrific death in this movie, like three fourths of the way in. And when the journalist tells this young kid, the young kid's just like that. Yeah. And then, um, oh, uh, when the newspaper editor gets fired at the end, uh, he's like, see, I, I published this negative story. Uh, and like the Godfather esque <laughs> people who own the paper right. are like, uh, well, you can read it in your downtime because you're fired. Huh? Cuts back out. <laughs> this is a comedy. This is an right. unintentional this fucking unintentional comedy. comedy yeah. When they tell like the journalist to go undercover in this leper community, and they're right. like, they're like, I know you don't like touching lepers, but we need you to go undercover in there and try to vert to convert to Christianity. The guy's sitting there just dubbed by somebody else yeah. with yeah. just this like mafia cigar <laughs> out of his mouth, like, eh, 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 we need you to go undercover in this leper community. And I'm watching, going like, what am I watching? Like a Christian version of Cruising? Yeah. Like, what is and, that? And, and it's like, it's, it's, it, it didn't know where the story was. I mean, it's kind of this idea that, like, maybe all this really happened, right? Sure, yeah. Maybe this is all really what happened. But the, 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 the trouble with true stories is that, sure, it's kind of, again, like, academically. Yeah. The fact that this man was murdered for being a missionary, but but, yeah. but 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 they, you know, but really he didn't do anything wrong, and really he was just he was actually a very good person. Uh -huh. Academically, that's like oh, interesting. Not, I really want to watch a two-hour movie about it. Interesting. This is <laughs> well, essentially th this. I mean, this is a terrible thing because this is whoa, this is really disrespectful to this guy who died. Yeah. When you're when you have death sequences that make you just perplexed by how it's edited. It gives right. characters flashbacks to scenes that they were not present for. Right, <laughs> right. And, that's, and not knowing who the main character is. And, and, and like I said, I think, you know, skewing it very much towards a white Western audience. Oh, sure, yeah. But, but like, it, disrespectfully so, and that, like, you, you know, when the his wife is, you know, mourning for him, she gets this whole long flashback of scenes we've never seen before of them as kids with, uh -huh. with her own song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, no. that, but, like, and I'm like, you know, I mean, I, I get that she's mourning and I get that it's bad for her, but isn't the journalist, uh, isn't his wife, like, dying? <laughs> but it's called... she, like, like, shouldn't that be the focus? I mean, yes, he's he's present for this thing happening, but, like... What about his wife? What about his mm. kid? I mean, that, that he's the main character. Yeah, he, he, despite the title of the film. <laughs> despite the title of the film, despite everything, he's the main character. He's the one we're supposed to be like, I mean, right? I mean, that, No, <laughs> yeah, I mean, she gets this corny montage song that, that starts out with the lyric, do you ever contain your tears in a glass bottle? Right, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. oh. <laughs> it's one of those, uh, it's one of those, like, montage songs in a movie like this that just tells you all the emotions that are going on on screen. Right, right, like, yeah. you gotta build yourself up! Right. Like, okay. Alright. Uh, but this uh, this journalist is the worst undercover journalist I've ever seen in any of these movies. Yeah. Because he uh, just hauls off off of a... When we first see him, he just like hauls off off of this 
bus like a zombie film when right. there's a, a guy with leprosy on there. But right. then when he's like secretly taking photographs of this conversion that's going on, he just jumps out from where he's hiding and runs out and yells at the guy. <laughs> right. It would be like somebody... God, if it would be like, uh, I don't know, if you were watching Salvador with James Woods and like he's taking pictures of illegal activity and then just runs out and scream at the person for doing something he illegal. Says, hey, you're doing something illegal. Yeah, like, uh, uh. So, you're lucky. Oh, you got yours, your camera broken. So, <laughs> and plus they're like, uh, they're like, okay, we need to infiltrate you into this uh, community so you can then convert to be a Christian. Uh -huh. So immediately he does and is just still like kind of talking shit. Um, Does he ever actually convert? Because he never actually affected. Because then it it looked like that was the whole point was he was going to, con you know, infiltrate the like side. But but it never. I don't think he ever actually did. Like he Not kept. Really. Like, he showed up. But uh -huh. His his story becomes more of a forgiveness thing because it's his fault that this guy dies. Or basically, yeah. Um, they, they, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it, it, his part sort sort of just becomes this forgiveness and like Christian acceptance storyline. Basically, yeah. Basically, but he's just always there in scenes. Like <laughs> he's supposed to be this undercover thing going on, but it's wildly obvious about it. A scene will start out with two people the scene will start out that he's not even in at first. Right. And then like it's just two people talking and then they'll look over and it'll cut away to him standing there behind something just <laughs> hello like okay. <laughs> It's like five times it does that in this yeah, movie. Yeah. Like, who is this? Yeah. Where do you keep coming from? Uh, <laughs> this was rough. It was. It was. It was. This was. <laughs> this was work. All right. This, this was hard work. Yeah. To sit through this. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, but but for you saying like. You know, like nothing really happens in this movie. The soundtrack disagrees <laughs> because nothing will be happening in a scene. The editor, will, the editor will be like the the newspaper editor uh, will say to the guy, like, "We need you to go there and find this story." <laughs> like through, through the whole thing, and then at the end, when his title cards on screen, a part where you would think there would be music, no. Then, yeah. th like, it picks that moment credits <laughs> to go like, maybe I should be silent. Not during all of these other scenes we've seen where the soundtrack overrides everything going right, on in the right. film. We're just... There's, oh, there's, oh, there's, oh, there's no transition. There's no build up to it. It's just, yeah. uh, just all of a sudden... Uh -huh. it's just like, oh, this is an ominous part now because the yeah. music's ominous. There's... Uh. <laughs> it was... It felt... all The whole soundtrack of this movie felt like temp tracks. Yeah, it did. Yeah. <laughs> it like felt... royalty-free temp tracks that they found somewhere and, and didn't have any volume control on. <laughs> yeah. I seriously feel like we just sat through a rough cut. You know, you know, you know what... what what this really felt, yeah, it felt like a rough cut of a student film. Yeah. Like, this takes me back to film school days uh -huh. where everybody had to show their work. Yeah. It's like, okay, everybody gets to watch everybody's film in class as we watch. Now, thank yeah. God, mercifully, those were only like two minute films. Oh, no, this but movie's this, almost this, two this, hours. This was a two hour version of that, of like, okay, well, you know, good effort, but, uh -huh. you know, there's something about cutting the scene early. <laughs> there's something about actually knowing who your main characters are. <laughs> there's something about actually writing it. So <laughs> 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 Do you remember, the, remember the picture they showed of Stephen Baldwin with the Indian people in this? <laughs> they pull it up and it's this awful like that photoshop picture we did in jesus bro of allison and all the kids that look like right. her was a million times more realistic than what they show with yeah, stephen yeah. baldwin and these indian people in the film like every down to the props everything yeah. about this movie is are you sure that's finished right yeah exactly are you sure is that really that's what that's what you're going with okay all right we're filming today okay all right sure i can't <laughs> believe we saw this on one of the bigger screens in town yeah. this movie blown up yeah. to this huge screen with the problems with the sound, yeah. the panning. This was not meant to be seen on anything larger than editing software. <laughs> well, this is what I said when we, when we were, when we were uh, you know, looking at the first opening. I said, on their yeah. laptop, this looked great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
because they're editing on their little bitty laptop. This looked great. <laughs> it's like, this is amazing. It's beautiful. Uh huh. It, oh. it was one of those two where the establishing shots look like 30 years older than the rest of the movie. And even the movie itself looks like it's at least 15 years old. Uh, yeah, but then yeah. it'll cut to, uh, I've seen this before in, in, in some stuff, like, when it, parts where like it'll cut to like the sun over the mountain like looks wildly older than everything else in the film. <laughs> the fact that it didn't say Pond 5 in the bottom, you know, <laughs> yeah. they were able, at least they, they paid the hundred bucks for the Pond 5, so it didn't say Pond 5 on there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so good. Oh, so good. Oh, yeah. And, and, and the least of these? What does that mean? I'm, coming, I, I'm circling back to this because what did that mean? Least of what? I, <laughs> ah! Limbs. Limbs? I... <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, do we have a contender for next year's uh, <laughs> worst of the year list? I I don't know how many places this movie is playing at, like <sighs> because it it's here. Yeah. For largely, I think a couple of reasons. One, because a lot of the religious movies, when they do go theatrical, a lot of them do come here. But also, a lot of Indian movies do too. Mm. Uh, that we get a lot of Bollywood movies here. I never go God, see them because they're always nine hours long. God, but... I would have preferred that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, there's some good Bollywood stuff. That's what I'm oh, saying. There, yeah. That's what I'm saying is that, like uh -huh. India can produce good things. I mean, sometimes, <laughs> like, you know, crazy things, but high-budget things and sure. things that look like they actually had, like, a competent crew make. Mm -hmm. This was not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me, though, that when some of the, that stuff comes here, we are getting their best. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe like, that's true. Maybe that's maybe, true. Maybe. I don't know. I could be wrong. But, maybe that's true. Um, But, yeah, so that, there is a big, like audience here when it, for when a Bollywood movie comes to town, so maybe that's a couple of reasons why maybe. this thing came here. Maybe. I, yeah. I, I don't know, but I, I just sat there watching it, just praying the lions from the Ghost in the Darkness were going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> I was just praying for it to end. I mean, I just... And it kept like... like I was, it was like when they, they burned Stephen Bold, and I was like, finally! <laughs> now I can go! And no, uh -huh. that was only like halfway through the movie or something. It felt... For, maybe it's three quarters of the way, but good God, was We're, that took forever. It doesn't say any, like, we hardly spend much time with this character, really. Right. He's probably in these flashback montages more yeah. than the rest yeah. of the movie. <laughs> and the movie's, like, partly named after him. It is, the, yeah, it's, it's, it's his story. It's the story of that missionary. And, and again, it's it's like one of those CNN hero segments you see that's two minutes yep. long, you know? Here's, yeah. here's a missionary doing wonderful work in India. Mm -hmm. He's helping these lepers feel more human. He does good yeah. work. Five <laughs> minutes. Hey, you're right. That For a five, you know, for a two and a half minute ins inspirational thing that I have to watch before I watch the video I want to yeah. watch. <laughs> you're right. Good, good on you. The, uh, skip this movie, man. Never, unless, never. I don't know, unless you're like a bad movie completist and you can see all the bad movies that come out all year it's like <laughs> this is an experience yeah not this a good a, one <laughs> make sure you're the only ones in the theater if you go see this and, shit. and then yeah just ream it oh, oh, oh man, man. <laughs> oh wow oh. this ain't even the only fucking movie that i got tonight <laughs> The best friend that Miss Bala has is that I saw this movie before it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, God. <laughs> so I might come out of that movie like full price. <laughs> At least it's got an editor. <laughs> <laughs> the ending credits of this movie list an Australian dialect code. I was I'm like, like, that person's fired. Yeah. I'm like, never, never work again. <laughs> like, don't lie to me, movie. <laughs> exactly. He, he's, Stephen Baldwin talks in this movie like he didn't know until they said action that his character is supposed to be Australian. Well, well, like, after, like, after like day two of having yeah. him. Yeah. Because day one, he just did his normal voice. <laughs> and then day two, they're like, oh, you're Australian. He's by like, the oh, way. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> I might be kicking myself for correcting you on right, this. Right, yeah, I probably should have just because your, your wife your wife doesn't speak with an Australian accent. Your kids barely do. Uh -huh. Your daughter doesn't. Like none of the rest of them do. <laughs> but you should have some kind of Australian. Just accent. say mate at the end. Of, just say like, mate. Just fine. a lot of words. Any other final thoughts about this film? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs>
It's so bad, it's man. Bad. It's, it's sometimes bad. I go see one and I'm like, I am legit shocked by how bad this is. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, coming up around midnight, Irving and I are going to be uh, uh, reviewing Miss Bala. Plus, come see us uh, February 22nd through the 24th at Wizard World Portland. And if you're there on Friday at 530, that's when we'll be doing our panel. And use our promo code CINEMA20 at wizardworld.com to get your tickets. So, all right, everyone. Thanks a bunch. <laughs>